on the 2nd of July 2018. Six-year-old Alicia McPhail would go missing from her bed. She was found six hours later. Dead. Who was Alicia? Alicia was born on October 22, 2011 in Glasgow, Scotland to parents Georgina Lochran and Robert McPhail. She had a younger sister named Courtney. Alicia was described by many as a bring and bubbly girl. Her head teacher remembered how she would come to class every day with a large smile. She particularly enjoyed literacy and at the time was working very hard to improve on her handwriting. She loved playing at the beach and was an imaginative and loving girl who adored spending time with her family. One of her favorite shows was Peppa Pig. Some of her favorite activities included gymnastics and cake baking, all of which she worked exceptionally hard at. The day of the disappearance, Alicia had arrived at her grandparents' house on the Isle of Butte on June 30, and had spent the last three days spending time with her grandfather, father, and his father's 18-year-old girlfriend Tony McLaughlin of whom she got along well with and would affectionately call Toto. Alicia had spent the prior day at the beach with her family. On the evening of July 1st, Alicia was put to bed by her father in her room. A Peppa Pig DVD playing in order to entertain her whilst she drifted to sleep. At around 2300, Tony McLaughlin checked and confirmed that Alicia was asleep safely in her bed. The key was left in the front door, as was common in the small community. At the same time, a local group of teens were hosting a party. The host of this party was 16-year-old Aaron Campbell. Who is Aaron Campbell? Aaron Campbell, aged 16 at the time was born on May 7, 2002. A troubled child, Campbell grew up with an abusive upbringing, with elements of both physical and emotional abuse. He would often argue with his alcoholic mother. A popular boy, he had a group of friends he would often party with. However, at the age of 15, Campbell began to consider very dark things. He wanted to do something excessive, such as commit rape. In 2017, he sent a Facebook message to a friend stating that he might kill one day for the lifetime experience. He was acquainted to the family via Tony McLaughlin and Robert McPhail, claiming to have sexual relations with the former and purchasing cannabis from the pair multiple times. The night cont. The party ended at around midnight. However, a friend returned at 0.30 and found Campbell in bed, expressing suicidal ideation. He stated he had argued with his mother. The friend, concerned, offered to stay over. However Campbell declined, stating he would get stoned instead. He sent texts to multiple people requesting to purchase cannabis, including McLaughlin and McPhail, none of whom replied. He attempted to call McLaughlin at 1.47 and 1.48. Again to no reply, Campbell devised a plan to instead steal cannabis. Entering his kitchen, he armed himself with a knife in case of confrontation, and left his home at 1.54. As caught by his home surveillance. A five minute walk later, Campbell entered the McPhail property. Opening the door closest to the entrance, he saw a young girl asleep in bed, six year old Alicia McPhail. In that moment, his plan changed. Campbell lifted Alicia from her bed, stirring her slightly as he did so and walked with her in his arms towards the ocean front. During the walk, Alicia woke up and asked who he was. Campbell replied that he knew her father, and was taking her home to him. He brought Alicia to a nearby secluded woodland. Here, he raped Alicia, before murdering her.
it was found she had 117 separate injuries to her body. With the cause of her death being, significant forceful pressure to her neck and face. Pathologists have concluded that Campbell took a long time to murder her. As he enjoyed inflicting harm. And knew this would be his only murder. After this act. He threw his clothes in the sea. Went home for a shower. Then returned to the murder site to retrieve his phone. The discovery. At six o'clock. Callum MacPhail. Alicia's grandfather awoke for work. And found his granddaughter was not in her bed. Not anywhere else in the house. There was no indication she had left at her own accord. Alicia's grandmother called the police at 6.23 a.m. to report her missing. Whilst the whole family began a search of the local area. McLaughlin noticed the calls from Campbell and attempted to return them. At 9.01. He responded by text. Sorry doesn't matter tears of joy tears of joy. McLaughlin told him of Alicia's disappearance and he replied once more. Oh damn. I'm sure she's not went too far x. At 8.54. Alicia's lifeless. Naked body was found by a local man. She was found 15 minutes from the McPhail residence. Evidence. Aaron Campbell's mother Jeanette assisted in the searches for Alicia. When she was found. Police requested anyone with information in the local area to come forward. In response to this. Jeanette looked through her CCTV footage. Noticing her son's odd leaving and entering pattern throughout the night. She quizzed him on this. Whilst she was satisfied with his response. She gave the footage to the police regardless. On July 4. Campbell was arrested under suspicion of murder. The following day he was charged with the murder and rape of six-year-old Alicia McPhail. He did not enter a plea. Trial and defense. At his trial. Many pieces of evidence were shown to the jury. Several items belonging to Campbell were discovered at the scene. Including his fleece jacket. Jogging bottoms. Boxer shorts. A t-shirt. And a kitchen knife. Fibers on DNA on Alicia's pajamas were found to have a one in billion chance of coming from anyone but Campbell. Chillingly, a 16-year-old testified that Campbell had sent a Snapchat to a group chat that night. A video of himself with the words, found the guy who has done it. Campbell's defense claimed that that night, Campbell had met up with Tony McLaughlin and had protected sex with her. He then theorized that McLaughlin had murdered Alicia. And planted his semen inside of her using his discarded condom. Throughout the trial. Campbell reportedly remained composed. Unfazed. And articulate. The trial lasted nine days. And after jury deliberation for three hours. A unanimous, guilty, verdict was given. Since then. Aaron Campbell has confessed to the murder. He states that he is quite satisfied with the murder and said that it took everything to stop laughing during the trial. He was sentenced to life in prison with a minimum of 27 years. An appeal in 2019 successfully reduced his minimum term from 27 to 24 years making him eligible for parole when he is 40 years old. In her memory, Alicia's primary school has opened up a playhouse. Decorated with artwork by the children. It was funded with £22,000 by the public. A pink memorial bench was also erected on a promenade to remember Alicia by.